April 14, 2008. I'm Brad Fallon, back from a Florida vacation with no internet connection. Ugh, kind of relaxing, but we've got a lot of freeline reporting to catch up on. So first up, web developers of the world rejoice. Google has opened up its own application engine. Now we reported earlier that Google would be releasing its big table database software as a web service, but that was only the tip of the iceberg. Turns out, Google's giving away an application engine that has a full environment for storing data and displaying information. Currently, it's only available to the first 10,000 users, so you better hurry if you want to get in on the beta test. It's free to use with up to 500 megabytes of storage and over 5 million monthly page views. Next, TripIt is a new social networking application that allows you to keep in touch with your friends while you travel and helps you plan your trips abroad. It keeps an itinerary for you and it's accessible from a cell phone. It'll let you know when you and your friends have the same destination so you can meet up for a couple of beers at the local pub. And Cushy CMS is the latest in fast and free web content management. It lets anyone without the knowledge of HTML or JavaScript or any web coding create sophisticated and powerful web pages. Now we're partial to WordPress here at the Freeline, but as long as it's free, we're all for it. They've recently opened up for private beta and the accounts are going fast, so make sure you sign up soon if you want to try it. And for those of you who are fans of retro video games, head on over to the Freeline and check out our link to a free clone of Super Mario Brothers. It's written entirely in JavaScript. Now it's not a complete clone, not even a whole level, but it plays MIDI music and it's super small so it loads fast. It's kind of cool and a good way to waste another few minutes online. And finally, if you're looking for a new blog to read, check out Time's latest list of the top 25 greatest blogs of all time. Although I have to admit, I think the list is a little incomplete since it doesn't have the Freeline Report or even bradfallon.com on the list. Maybe next year. But in the meantime, you can check out the top 25 with a link at freelinereport.com. Until next time, for the Freeline, I'm Brad Fallon. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit freelinereport.com.